Hey, what's going on guys? Terry back here with you for another video. So today I got some uh, news on the new upcoming Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. Uh, the news was released yesterday, but I had a really busy day at work and uh, just catching up on all my movie news and music news and all that stuff today. And I was reading all the information on the new um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So I figured I would do this quick video and let all you Texas Chainsaw Massacre fans know what's going on with it and all you horror fans. Happy Tuesday to all you guys. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. And hope you guys are safe and all that stuff out there. So let's jump into business. So Legendary picked up the rise of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. And it was, they announced a new movie. It was like last October they dropped the poster for it. And they had been like really quiet for it. And you know, I figured it's the film was supposed to be released this year. And so I was thinking, okay, probably October time, you know, Halloween time. I mean, it makes perfect sense, if not September, close to it. And now, like, they we're in September, and they've just been, like, dead silent. I've even tried reaching out to Legendary on Facebook, just being like, hey, like, when's this movie going to be released? Do you guys have a theatrical release date? Or can I, where can I get a poster for it at? And, like, nothing, nothing. Well, the news finally broke that Legendary sold the rights to the new upcoming sequel to Netflix. Which, for me... It's it'll save me about thirty bucks from going to the movies, getting two movie tickets, but at the same time, it it, it kind of sucks because Texas Chainsaw Massacre is one of my favorite horror movies. I put it up there with the '70s Halloween, but it's just it's one of those franchises that they just the 2003 remake in the beginning were good, but when Texas Chainsaw 3D came out, then Leatherface come out, that's just kind of like when it went down the crapper. And if you remember, all if you if you Texas Chainsaw and horror fans remember when Leatherface came out, it was that movie sat on the shelves for like three years before it was finally released, and that went straight to direct TV. And that move that that Texas Chainsaw was supposed to have been like really gory and stuff, and I I wasn't impressed with it at all. And um, you know with with Steven Dorf being in the last one, he's a really good actor, and I just even with him being in it, I still couldn't really get into it. It just didn't really feel like a Texas Chainsaw film except for the beginning and the end of it but you know some people like it some people hate it you know it's one of those shenanigans but with this one the new one that Legendary did I've heard it's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre but then I've also heard it's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Begins so like either way if it's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Begins that'd be kind of silly because if it's a direct sequel to the 70s one you know that's obviously it already started with the 70s one the original, so I just, I don't know if they're going to keep the title Texas Chainsaw Massacre for the new one, you know, kind of like what Halloween 18 did, they just kept it Halloween, like what the new Candyman did, it's just Candyman, and like with the upcoming Scream, instead of it being Scream 5, they're just calling it Scream, so um, I just wonder with this new Texas Chainsaw Massacre, if they're just going to keep it just plain the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, because that seems to be like what all these upcoming you know horror reboots and sequels and all that stuff is doing but um it just sucks though because like a lot of like these classic horror ones don't even make it in the theaters no more like i'm surprised the new candy man made it in the theaters I am, i'm just still kind of surprised by that but it's like chucky the last time a chucky movie was in theater was was see to chucky and then after that it was just straight to video and now this october well it's going to be on usa and sci-fi this tv series and it's like Nightmare on Elm Street, you, you know it's been how long, and that was a crap remake we got of that movie, and it's just been silent. The Friday the 13th, thank you. who knows if we're ever going to get another one of those movies with the legal battle that's going on. And, um, you know, thank God that the new Scream and Halloween Kills are going to be in theaters because, you know, I, I don't mind a streaming service, that way I can just sit home and watch it, but at the same time, when you're a fan of these horror movies and they, you know, release new ones, you know, you kind of want it to hit theaters so you can get that theater experience and, you know, watch your favorite characters on the big screen. You know, it'd be like if they were to start taking, like, Marvel movies and just, which they are on Disney+, Plus, but, like, taking all of them and, you know, skipping the theaters, just going to the streaming. You know, there's going to be some Marvel fans out there that are like, well, I like seeing it on the big screen or the IMAX screen. You know, that's how I am with the horror movies and all that. But the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that series is just... Yeah, it's just went down the crap, unfortunately, and 
to me, the last good one was uh, the beginning in 2006. That one in the 2003 remake. And it's just, I don't really think we're ever going to see another Leatherface movie on the big screen again unless they take the route of just, okay, like, we're just totally going to, like, reboot it. We're going to ignore the 03 one, and we're just going to redo the 70s one. And But, I mean, that could happen. You know, Hollywood seems to have been taking that route a lot. But, I mean... Yeah, it just kind of sucks because the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's supposed to be, from what I hear, it's supposed to be like really bloody and gory. But I've also heard from the first test screenings that it got really poor poor test screenings. So that would make sense why they're not going to maybe release it to theaters because they might lose their ass if they do that. And maybe that's why they just said the deal with Netflix. But there has been no release date yet, though. But Netflix did pick up the rights to the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I would surely think October Netflix would drop it, but I mean, it could be sometime next year. I'm not sure yet. You know, I just wanted to do this video to let all you Texas Chainsaw Massacre and horror fans know that the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie was picked up by Netflix, but no release date has been dropped yet. So fingers crossed that it's decent and it gets dropped in time in October, right before Halloween. Well, as always, I want to thank you guys so much for taking time to stop by and watch this video. I appreciate it. You know, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And, um, you know, hope you guys are having fun out there and staying safe. And until the next time, as usual, stay safe, stay metal.